Hi, it's Wesley with Expand to Craft again. I'm going to explain a little more about the connector kit and uh, give you a comparison of, of decking. Um, <coughs> before I get to the connector kit, uh, this is our aluminum decking that we use uh, with a lot of our boats. It's uh, 11 uh, and a half inches wide and it's um, an inch and three quarter tall, very rigid. Uh, and it's clean, neat, and tidy. You don't have to worry about putting screws into it. it. You can bolt anything you want to it. Now this, this is the redneck version. If you want to go cheap, you can get a piece of treated plywood for 40 bucks in uh, Home Depot. This one is probably five years old, and if you can see, it's got a little wavy action to it, but it's still in pretty decent shape. It's been sitting out in the sun and the rain for five years, and it's still okay. All right, now we're going to get to the installation of the connector kit. Now the connector kit is this little booger right here. This is a cross tube. And what we do is, because every boat is different, every canoe is different, and the gunnels are thicker, uh, the, the wall of the, uh, the side wall, that is, of the canoe comes in or goes straight at a different angle. So when you get your connector kit, it's like this. The end caps are not on yet. Uh, it's drilled here. So that is this way. And you get this plate and you put that under here. You'll then take the small screws and put them outside here and here. <coughs> and maybe even underneath if you want to add. What that does is it makes a compression point where it involves more of the sidewall and divides the load, the shock load. When you hit something or a wave action happens, it divides that load. Now, I also include the longer bolts. Now, the reason I include these longer bolts is because after you drill the holes, and if you'll notice, it's drilled a big hole here and a quarter inch hole there. Well, that's on purpose. That's because when you get your fingers in here or try to get a tool in there, you've got you got to get a screwdriver or a drill gun. You, you have to have this long screw to get it in the hole, and then you put your tool on there, and then you can drive it through. If you had the short screws, then you constantly be losing the screw inside, and it's a pain in the butt. So I give you the long ones, one because I don't know how thick your boat is, and uh, two you can always cut them off uh, when you're done. Cut them off with a hacksaw, do not cut them off with a power tool because the nylocks, if you use nylock instead of wing nut, um, because this part usually stays on your canoe. If you heat that nylon, you'll never get that bolt off. You'll have to cut the bolt. So anyway, uh, what you do here is you first mount your plastic piece on either side. So you'll get clamps, you'll have to have clamps to hold it in place and then you're going to drill a hole uh, probably like lower here and here because the this is going to fit the little connector piece is going to fit right under your gunnel and so you just press that on there with a, a clamp and then screw it uh, in with the long bolts as you see this one is already uh, done now the the bigger bolt here what you're going to do is, as you see here, this goes over your cross tube. It goes over your cross tube. So when you're installing, I do not have these drilled. Remember, I said it's because every canoe is different. I can't, I can't manufacture a kit to fit every single boat. So you're going to have to do some drilling yourself. But this gets tricky. What you need to do is you take your compression plate, you put it over your cross tube like this one is already installed then you're going to drill our down here and just, just drill and make a mark do the same thing on the other side and make a mark remove it and drill the hole on only the top portion here and of course the reciprocal top portion here after you drill the top hole you're going to take this one and you're going to put it in and as you see here, I drilled a little hole and I put a, uh, I put a, a screw in there. Um, you're going to either have to tap it or you can drill a, like a quarter inch hole here and a smaller hole in the cross tube. That way you can actually tap 
this screw into it. So it, it'll go through here and, and screw into uh, the uh, cross tube. Now alternately you can do this. Hold on. Drill a quarter inch hole in the cross tube and do less than a quarter inch hole here or, or you can tap you can tap a screw into here so that it's, it's held in place and what that does is that just keeps the cross tube from sliding this way and that and you can do that on both sides uh, so the idea is, is this is just a pin that holds it in place it's not a screw a bolt that holds it down okay with that said you drill your hole in the top now if you'll come around here I'm going to show you a little something if you'll notice it's at an angle so that's why I don't drill these at the shop. One, I don't know how far this way or that way you need the hole to be drilled. In this instance, you can see that straight up and down is not absolutely square to the, uh, to the mounting uh, here. So you are going to have to drill an off-center type of a hole. If you have a canoe like this, which has the, 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 the side of the canoe goes in a little bit. So that is going to require a little bit of tricky holding the, you, know, you try to hold this in place, clamp it down, and you're going to hold your drill, and it's going, to, well, it's going to want to wobble on you for a little bit, but that's okay. A little bit of wobble, a little bit of slop is not a big deal. Now, if you'll go down further, you can see with this installation, because the, the gunnel is so thin here, I actually had more bolt than I needed, and I ended up putting a nut and a washer with wing nuts I did here so that I can just spin them off fast but I did that to take up some of the space because the bolt I didn't know in, in this case I had some extra thread that I didn't uh, account for so I just took it up with a little bit of a bolt there so that's nice and tight all right that is the connector kit and how you put it together a little closer look I want you to go on the inside and see <clears throat> in this particular case uh, I haven't buzzed off all of the uh, the bolts yet. Remember, use a hacksaw because these are you know, all this is supplied. All these are nylocks, meaning they have nylon inside there. Don't use a don't use a, a sawzall or a or a, a power tool because it'll heat up and seize, and you'll never be able to get them off. And that's pretty much it. And that's the Expand the Craft uh, connector kit. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, look up our other videos on uh, YouTube. ExpandTheCraft.com. Check us out.